Hi folks, welcome to the Preferred Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Well, it's negative five. The windshield is negative 20 and the sun's out a little bit. I just thought, that's a great day to train. So I thought I'd take a walk, bring you along with me. Pushed myself a little bit in the cold. It's not terrible, um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely cold something I've I've talked about a lot of times in fact talked about last night on the live stream that just because the weather's bad doesn't mean you just stay inside and you don't train you know there's always the odds that bad things might happen when the weather is the worst and we need to be prepared for that you know we need to be prepared physically that we can endure extreme heat extreme cold rain snow ice wind whatever it is and so while i'm not saying go out and put yourself in danger and overdo it have some common sense which you know remember what i said the other day common sense will help you survive through just about anything but it's always good to get out and kind of push yourself you can see we, we haven't gotten a lot of snow we are supposed to get Oh, one to three inches today, uh, this afternoon, but really it's just, it's just cold. The wind's died down a lot. Man, last night the wind was horrible. So we we're dealing with, you know, single digit temperatures and 25 mile an hour winds. And man, that's, that's brutal. You're getting into some pretty brutal temperatures there with the wind, but it's not too bad. These trees are blocking the, the breeze. So probably not negative 20 um, wind chill where I'm at right at this moment. Oh, goodness. Did you see there was a couple of volcanoes last night? Um, White House has put up the fence around it again. There's been protests there. They had to evacuate the White House because of the pro-Palestinian uh, protests there. Worried that they might try to jump the fence and, you know take over the White House. We're watching countries in Europe and the Middle East <clears throat> definitely gear up for war. Um, several countries I've, I've seen. Estonia is talking about mining their, their border with Russia. Um, Norway is telling their people to get ready for war. Same with the Netherlands. I mean, it's just, there's all kinds of stuff going on in those theaters when it comes to the potential for World War III. And yet the same thing's going on over in the east. You got North Korea overnight uh, launched another ballistic missile, uh, did not make any announcement of it. And uh, China is definitely saying that, they're saying that Taiwan is, was never its own country, that it is Chinese territory, and that they will, will reunify. Biden is saying, well, now we do, we do acknowledge the China one policy, you know, one China policy. We, we do, we do acknowledge that. That's, that's legitimate. But um, their actions haven't really shown that. And then it's being said in the news that just before um, we started launching against the Houthis in Yemen, that Biden sent a message uh, to Iran saying that, listen, we're ready for war. We've got the, the weapons and the means, and we're ready for it. So, yeah, it, it, it just looks like that, right? It looks like that. The economy is really kind of reflecting that, too. Um, certain areas of the economy looks pretty good, but mostly not so well. And been a lot of predictions over the last few months, and, and some of them are starting to line up that, 2024 is the year for the economy to truly, really go in the tank. Uh, inflation is going back up a little bit, and you know, home purchases are drastically down. More layoffs. What what can we say? It's it's awful, and things are things are heading the direction of war and collapse, uh, and all kinds of stuff. Um, 
the World Health Organization and the World Economic Forum is talking about some new disease X. They're really pushing that. It's been talked about for a while, but oh, it's it's gonna happen. We gotta get ready for it. Well, when are we gonna see it? Is it this year, along with all this other stuff? Uh, World Economic Forum said that this is the year to regain trust, to rebuild the trust for the organization that, you know, all these conspiracy theorists have been out pushing these negative uh, narratives. And so they've got to do things to rebuild the trust of the people. Does that mean that we're going to have some black swan events so that the World Economic Forum can say, see, we told you so, you should have listened to us. I, I don't know. But I can tell you this, we got to get ready. Uh, we can't just sit around any longer and, and just, you know, talk about how bad it is and talk about what we need to do. We need to actually be doing that. We need to actually be proactive in, in all that we're doing when it comes to just preparedness and um, community preparedness, getting our families ready, getting ourselves in shape, uh, this is the year you folks need to be, and uh, I'm doing the same thing. We need to get in shape. We need to improve our health. We need to, you know, get less and less dependent upon pharmaceuticals and that easy chair. We need to get out there and be pushing ourselves, trying to lose some weight, get off the junk and the chemicals. We need to be training, doing things like what I'm doing today getting good at whatever skills that you're trying to hone. That's very important. We need to be building relationships with people around us. I know a lot of people have trust issues. I have trust issues. But um, there are certain levels of relationships that you can, you can build. You don't have to be close, inner, uh, core people with everything, everyone. Uh, but you can definitely be building good relationships uh, with many people around you. Uh, neighbors and uh, folks that own small businesses and and things like that this is stuff that we have to be doing along with stacking beans and rice and bullets that's only a small part i know that's what a lot of people focus on a lot of people focus on just getting the coolest latest gear and and that sort of thing but it's really it's more than that and and we really have to be pushing ourselves in just about every direction because 2024 is, is lining up to be the year, folks. Now, who knows if it's going to be the year, but it's certainly looking that direction with everything that's going on. I mean, we, we are probably just days or weeks away from a war, at least in the Middle East, uh, drastically escalating. The war with Russia and Ukraine already has. Um, Russia has been very heavily bombarding Ukraine. And uh, it looks as if Ukraine is really running out of defenses because Russia's bombardment is becoming more and more successful, meaning they have less, you know, um, you know, missile defense systems. And so when that happens and Ukraine falls or gets close to falling or Russia gets really close to victory, uh, who knows what we will see out of NATO? We'll see something that could potentially escalated even further, even to the point of nuclear or radiological. All of these things are happening. They're not what ifs, they're not maybes, they're in fact happening. And you know, there's still, amazingly enough, there's still so many naysayers. Oh, nothing's gonna happen. It's nothing's going on. It's not that big a deal. And it is. And we have to get ready for it. We can survive this. You can survive this. Mostly, the biggest thing that you need, aside from your spiritual walk with the Father, is you need to have a good head on your shoulders. You need to pull it out of the nether regions of your you know, underside. And don't be offended by that, because every one of us at some point in our life has been there. And we need to rationally and logically think about what we're doing and what we have to do to get ready. Use some common sense. Common sense about securing your, your home and your, your stuff. Common sense about where you live. Common sense about your routes of travel and being aware of what's going on around you in your community. You know, common sense about the stuff that you need. 
You know, don't spend a lot of money on stuff that you're probably not going to end up using. Common sense and, and just the relationships you've built and, and the plans that you have to, well, to be much more self-sufficient. These are the things that we have to be doing on a regular basis. We can't just, can no longer just be talk. There has to be actions to our words because that's the, that's the state of affairs. That's where we're at. You know, we don't have the luxury we did a few years ago of saying, well, you know, we've got a few years probably before it really falls apart. So I've got more time to build this up, to buy this, to move here, to do all this thing. We don't have that much time anymore. We gotta get serious and get our houses in order. Folks, you need to be preparing yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually because the world is changing rapidly. And if it doesn't, it's gonna pull you down with it when it falls. You need to be out there on, standing on your own two feet as much as possible so that you don't go down with the ship. Thank you all for watching. Catch you in the next video.